Um, we do have a few requests to speak, so we're going to start with Jim Gregory, followed by Rob Kemp. Thank you. Um, I'm speaking in support of the anti-hate uh, petition. Uh, I'm a history writer, and so I'd like to read something I wrote, if that's okay. Mm -hmm. Possibly no day had more impact on a royal grandee than April 30th, 1942, the day that Executive Order 9066 was enforced. Buses waited to take our neighbors into internment in the high school parking lot just outside today's Paulding Gym. A line of high school girls, some Nice, some not, walked up Crown Hill that day to the parking lot holding hands. All of them were weeping. Some of them might have been seniors, members of the class of 42. 25 of that class's 58 students were Japanese American. Among those separated were the Bucocks, the class of 44, four rascally boys and the core of the high school stamp collecting club, a passion, ironically, of the presidents. Two of them joined the Navy to fight the Japanese in the Pacific. The third, Marine John Loomis, fought the Japanese on Okinawa. The fourth, Bukok, Haru Hayashi, was a member of the famed 442nd Regimental Combat Team. After their war had ended, the Bukoks grew old together until one by one, they left us. Their friendships remained as young as they'd been in 1942. In 1942, John Loomis's family was among many who began to care for the farms and the farm equipment of their friends. Jean Wilkinson Frederick was another member of the Stamp Collecting Club. Her best friend since first grade was Yoshi Nakamura. Yoshi's brother George was a war hero. He went behind Japanese lines in the mountains of China to rescue a downed American flyer. Another Rail Grande soldier, Sadami Fujita, was killed in France's Vosges Mountains. He was among 800 Nisei GIs killed or wounded in the rescue of 230 terrified 19-year-olds Texans who'd been surrounded by the Germans. As to Yoshi, once the buses left, her friend Jean never saw her again. I interviewed Jean a few years ago. When Yoshi's name came up, she began to cry. Jean was 93 years old that day. Thank you so much.